Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, and this is Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. I was the head coach of the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we were fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. My book, Beyond the Lines, is about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, and finding greatness, which is what this show is all about. My special guest today is an extraordinary musician and the nicest, most genuine guy you will ever meet. He is ukulele master Jake Shimabukuro, and today we are going beyond music. Hey, Jake, welcome to the show. Aloha, Rusty. Great to see you, man. It's nice to be able to connect, you know, even though uh, we're, um, we're uh, not in the same room, but it's, yeah. this is still wonderful. Great to see you, man. Thank you for having me on. Now, Jake, regarding the coronavirus, what message do you have for your fans here in Hawaii and around the world? And that's a that's a tough one. It almost changes every day, you know, but um, I know for I can speak for myself. You know, what I've been doing is um, I've been, you know, I've been shaving every morning. You know, um, I get dressed up every morning, take a shower in the morning, get ready, get dressed up and um you know, just because uh, even though I, I'm just staying at home, you know, I want to, I want to, um, I want to feel like, you know, I'm being productive. I want to feel like I'm, I'm uh, preparing, you know, myself to to do something, to be productive, you know, to, you know, spend the day with with my two children, um, you know, to do things around the house. Um, you know, my my wife is uh, she's in the medical profession, you know, so she's she's working every day and, you know, she's out there and, uh, you know, we just want to be as supportive as possible. And I think that's, that's all we can all do is, you know, we just have to stay positive. We have to support each other, um, you know, in, in our own ways, um, educate ourselves, uh, stay informed and just, um, and look at the big picture. You know, this is not a time to be selfish, but a time to, to really think about, um, you know, to be empathetic and, and just think about how we can overcome this, you know, as as quickly as possible, and um, and with the the least amount of damage. And Jake, yeah, you know, there is the light at the end of the tunnel, and and everybody's working together. And you and I, I we know each other for many many years, and I I loved it when you would come over to my place uh, and perform in my living room during uh, my <laughs> wine tasting social gatherings. And oh yeah. Uh, I, I know that you went to Kai, you grew up in Kaimuki. How was your experiences growing up in Kaimuki? Yeah, I've always had such a um, such a positive um, experience. You know, uh, growing up in, in this community, I, I still live in Kaimuki, and um, I'm uh, you know just just grateful. You know, my my dad. You know, he grew up in Palolo and uh, he, you know, he went to Kaimuki High School. I, I followed in his footsteps. I went to Kaimuki. Uh, my mom was a McKinley grad, but it's okay. You know, we still love her. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, there was always a rivalry between Kaimuki and, and McKinley. Um, but, you know, I, I've always felt very fortunate, you know, to have, um, to, you know, just to grow up here because uh, there's a strong sense of community, I think, in Kamaki and, uh, and especially especially now, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of these kind of uh, Kamaki pride, you know, slogans and T-shirts and hats. And, you know, so but I, I think also, um, you know, it, it's given me so much, you know, in, in terms of just uh, being a part of, of something, something greater you know, being, um, you know, just seeing firsthand how, how your actions and what you do um, impacts your neighbors. Um, Kamaki has always been kind of a, a little bit of an, an older community, you know, so uh, a lot of um, uh, grandmas and grandpas, you know, out working in the yard and, and all that and just kind of, uh, you know, I don't know, just, just I, I, I felt very, um, you know, very, very, Fortunate. I just have a lot of wonderful memories here, and that's why I think I still, I still live here. It's it's changed, you know. It's been changing a lot, but some some things are are still the same. You know, we still got that that uh, big old Christmas tree on the top of the hill. We got uh, the the crack seed store. You know, um, coffee talk on the corner. You know, that that's uh, 
another one that I remember um, spending a lot of time uh, time in when I was a kid, you know, just writing songs and Liz would let me come in and bring my ukulele and just kind of practice or, or play, you know, and, uh, um, and then of course, you know, growing up at, you know, just going to Kaimaki high school, I have so, so many wonderful memories there. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of musicians, a lot of, uh, musically talented, uh, peers that I've, that I've had, you know, just growing up there, learning so much from them. Um, as, as some of you may know right now, you know, Kamiki High School is, uh, is going through a lot of, uh, there, there, there may be a lot of changes, you know, happening. I think there's a, a student body of, I think, less than 400 or maybe about 300 people now. You know, there was almost 2,000 when I was in school. Um, and, and even despite all of that, you know, I want to send a shout out to the Kamiki High School football team, you know, for uh, winning the OIA championships. Um, you know, despite, despite their size and just, um, and just kind of the struggles, you know, that, that the school has been, has been tackling recently. Yeah. Coach David Taltofi is a amazing role model and such a great leader for, for the boys. And I want to ask you, Jake, about your mom, you know, your mom is a great role model as well. And what is, what's the, what's the most, what do you admire most about your mom? Yeah, well, you know, my, my mom, she, uh, she always gave me really great, great advice. You know, she was always very supportive of everything I, I did. And one of the things, you know, I tell people that, that the best advice my mom gave me was she said, she, you know, she doesn't really care what I, what I do in life, as long as I, I strive to be the, the best at it. And, um, and it makes me happy, you know, and I think that's, um, that's probably what, you know, all that you can hope, you know, for your children is, is you want them to, to find something. I mean, the way I, I look at that now is, you know, is you want to find, you hope your children find something that they're passionate about, something that they believe in, something that, that, um, that they want to commit, you know, their, their time and hard work and effort and, um, and just make sure that it, that it makes a, a positive impact, you know, in, in their community, um, you know, in, in their state, in the country or, you know, in, in the world. And, um, and I think that's, that's important. And of course, you know, the, the happiness part, you know, I, I've always felt that, you know, pure, uh, joy is really found in, in doing something that, that you love, you know, when you're fulfilled and you feel that you're doing something that has meaning um, to you and, and uh and it's worth fighting for you know i i think that uh that that brings a, a kind of joy and fulfillment that that you don't um that it is is uh i think that 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 stays with you forever i i totally agree with you jake and you know your you and your brother bruce are very close uh what do you uh admire most about your brother yeah, you know my my brother. You know he's always been um, he's always been the type where growing up um, he's very talented. You know, so he picks up he picks up things quickly. You know, so I think growing up everything that that we did, um, you know, he was always better than me. You know, like we would um, uh, you know shoot pool or play darts or play basketball or you know or even a video game or something. You know, but he he picks up things so quickly. Um, and I think that that was something that I, I always admired of admired him. Yeah, I, I, I admired uh, about him. And he also has this ability to um, to just kind of um, like uh, you know break break things down and explain them <laughs> explain them. Uh, you know, I I think in in a way that's that is. Um, Sorry, sorry if I seem a little distracted. I, I have my, <laughs> my teeth kind of running around me right now, um, but um, yeah, I, I think uh, you know he's he's always been he's always been very very creative and very. Um, hey, buddy, can you go down? Um, he's always been the 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 creative one. You know, always kind of thinking of new ideas and and interesting ways to, to do things. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, you know, he's, he's the type, you know, he'll, he'll always find a way to get something done. And, uh, 
And, you know, he was also classmates with, uh, with David, uh, Tatofi, you know, coach David. Um, and I, I saw, I saw you interviewed him, you know, on your show and, um, you know, he and my brother, uh, knew each other very well. And, uh, and, you know, and it's just, it's just so, so inspiring, you know, to see, um, what that generation, you know, is doing and what they're, they're yes, buddy. Um, because I, I think like David, you know, he's, he's so incredible in the sense where he's just got this, you talk about passion and, and talk about like, um, uh, <laughs> doing, um, making a difference in the community, you know, and, and just his heart for the, with, for the, uh, the students and, and what he's doing with the Kamaki youth development is just, um, is so inspiring to me. And I just, I, I'm so grateful to, to know him and just to kind of see the, the work that he's doing for the community and to see the, the, uh, the fire that he's lighting, you know, in, in the hearts of, of these, these young, these, uh, these young students. Um, yeah, you he's, know, you know, it, for him, it, he's definitely making a huge impact and, you know, Jakey, you you are making a huge impact, not just in Hawaii, but around the world. I mean, you've done tons of sold out shows and, you know, you love performing live. What What is it about performing live that you love so much? Uh, well, the thing the thing that I, I, I. One of the reasons I love music is because I, I feel it brings people together. It. Um, there's a, there's a, I don't know, for me, it's almost like, a, it's therapeutic, you know, like when I, when I pick up the, the ukulele, well, I guess I pick it up for different reasons, you know, sometimes I pick it up just simply because, um, you know, I, I need it for myself, you know, and then there are times where I, I'll get up on stage and play and, and, and it's this incredible uh, rush and, and energy, you know, just connecting with people and, um, and, uh, and, you know, th uh, the, the complete strangers, you know, a, a room full of people that um, most of them you, you've never probably met before, but you're able to just connect and, and unite in a way that that is very impactful and meaningful. Um, there's a there's a Japanese word and it's, it's Ichigo Ichie. And, and, uh, the meaning of the, of the direct translation is once in a lifetime. And it has a lot to do with, um, with people with, it has a lot to do with people coming together and sharing, um, sharing a moment, but then also being very, um, being very grateful and, and knowing that, you know, this moment will never happen the exact same way again with the with the same with the same group of people, you know, and and it reminded me of just being on the road and touring, you know, because every night you're in a different city, you're playing for a completely different audience, but um, but I think just knowing that, you know, well, I guess thinking of it that way, you know, just makes every night fresh and, and special. And though you, some people may think that you're, you might be playing the same songs or doing the same things. It's, um, you know, it, it really, um, I don't know. It, it just makes, it, it just, it feels different, you know, every time. And, uh, and I think that's why live music is so powerful, you know, because it's, you're creating a, an atmosphere and an, and an, environment and experience you know that has never happened before i totally and, uh, get that jake because you know people that have never seen you perform live i mean i highly recommend they go because the deep connection that you have with your audience is is priceless and jake we're going to take a quick break and when we come back we're going to continue going beyond music okay okay sounds great thank you you are watching Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii with my special guest, Jake Shimabukuro. We will be back in a quick minute.
my name is Duration. I'm the host of Finding Our Future here on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm here every other Tuesday from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Here on this show, um, I cover issues around sustainability, um, you know, global issues that matter for young people, for future generations, and other social justice issues. So please join us. It's live streamed on Think Tech Hawaii and also uploaded on YouTube. Welcome back to Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My special guest today is an extraordinary musician who has performed to countless sold out audiences around the world. He is ukulele master Jake Shimabukuro, and today we are going beyond music. Jake, you know, I, I know you performed with so many talented, uh, famous musicians around the world, and one of them is uh, Jimmy Buffett. What's, what's one thing that you that you uh, learned from performing with Jimmy? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, he's he's such a great storyteller and communicator. Um, and I, I just love how he just makes everyone feel like, you know, he's speaking directly to them or he really, uh, he has this ability to just kind of, uh, whether it's an audience of 15,000 or 100,000, you know, he just has this incredible uh, ability to just kind of unite everyone, bring everyone together and, uh, and just share this incredible experience, you know? So it was, it was always just fascinating, you know, to watch that night after night, how he just goes out there and, and, um, and just, you know, uh, command that stage and, and just make everyone feel, you know, so welcome and, and, and so loved and appreciated. No, and you know, he speaks very highly of you and so does uh, Jack Johnson. And what's something about Jack Johnson that you really uh, admire? Oh man, I, I just I just love how, you know, he's just has such a heart for the community, has such a, a heart for, um, for, for kids and for, um, you know, he, he, of course, he loves music. He loves playing and all that. But you know, but I think he's uh, he's a great example of of someone who uses that that platform, you know, to to do just such positive and uh, positive things, you know, in the community. He's he's really one that that's not afraid to get his hands dirty, you know, to uh, to be that servant leader, to go out there and lead by example, you know, to to be there uh, out on the front lines and just um, and uh, and inspiring, you know, people to to just come out and, and volunteer or to help raise awareness. And uh, so I, I think I think that's that's awesome. You know, I, I think uh, it'd be great if you know if um, if every artist could be could be like that and have that type of mentality. Yeah, I totally get it. And Jake, you know, I heard that. Um... Dwayne Johnson, you know, The Rock, I heard he was super excited to meet you. Super excited. <laughs> no, it was funny. Like, uh, I don't think he was excited to meet me. Oh, I heard but, he was uh, excited. <laughs> but it was funny because uh, we actually had the same uh, English teacher um, growing up, you know, at Washington uh, Intermediate School. Well, back then it was intermediate, now it's Washington Middle School, but we both went to Washington Middle and, uh, and we both um, had uh, Miss Tajiri, you know, as our, as our English teacher. So, so we both kind of got to share stories about, about her and she was such a wonderful um, uh, educator and um, she was a big influence, you know, for me. At, uh, and, and even though, you know, I, I think um, my, my seventh and eighth grade year um, was 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 pretty tough, you know. But I think she uh, she was one of those teachers that I remember that you know would kind of pull me aside and and really believed in me and always gave me uh, you know good advice and and she always saw saw something in me, I guess that um, that uh, you know that that inspired me, you know, to try harder and, and to do better. Jake, let's talk about my books. I, I still got to get you my, my second book uh, that's coming out, Beyond the Game. But in my books, I talk about purpose. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I talk wow. about purpose and really finding your purpose. And mm -hmm. what do you feel your purpose is in life? 
Ah, uh, yeah. Well, my I I think um I think everyone's well. I shouldn't say everyone, but I mean for me, the way I was I was raised, I I feel like my purpose is just to you know genuinely try to do things that will create a better a better life you know for the next generation and um and you know in terms of um i mean i mean just just uh i mean in in, in everything that that i do you know if i'm if i'm going to do something i i i want to always try to be aware of of what i'm doing and how it's going to impact you know my my kids future um if i'm going to be devoting my my time and energy i want to make sure that it's it's being um, i'm doing something that will uh you know um make a make a positive you know impact um you know also investing i think in and not just my my own children but investing in in other people's uh kids you know because those are those are my children's you know peers and and it's going to be their friends they're they're all going to be uh, they're all going to be uh going to work you know at the same time getting uh they're going to be you know working in the same industries and 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 fields you know when they when they get older and they're the ones that are going to have to work together and figure out how to how to solve you know the the problems of of tomorrow you know so i i really think that um that's kind of uh uh my my role or, or you know or anyone's role is you know it's just like what you know i'm a fifth generation japanese american you know my great great grandparents you know worked hard so that their children could have a better life and then you know and my great grandparents worked hard so their children could have a better life and my grandparents worked hard you know so my mom and dad could have a better life and the same thing you know with them for me and now uh with me for for my children and you know and it's just this 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 cycle but you know but there comes a time when uh you know if, if we keep if we keep doing that and and we, if we keep pushing for for a better life, you know, for the next generation, you know, at some point we have to really define better, you know, what is better because, you know, when uh, I think, um, you know, a uh, hundred years ago, you know, better was like having, having more, you know, my, my, my great grandparents, you know, never, never had a car so they wanted their children to have a car and, you know, and then, and they never had a house so they wanted their children to, to have a house and and so forth and as as the generations you know as we go down the line at some point you know um at some point you know the uh four or five generations down the line you know our, our kids start getting a little spoiled you know because we start getting <laughs> way, way too much and we forget to teach them what it's like to struggle a little bit and and to and to work for something so i i think it's it's important to really define what what better is you know and we're trying to you you want to you want to um, teach them you know to to have a good character good work ethic um, awareness um, I always uh, I always preach to my 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 two kids I was telling them remember these things you know be humble grateful and kind you know and uh, and you know those are those were lessons that were instilled you know in, in me from the time I was a kid so. Jake, is there a challenge in your own life uh, that you have to overcome? Oh yeah, I mean, there's there's always there's there's always challenges, you know, and um, and you know, I, I think I think one of the most empowering things that I that I realized was um, with with every challenge, you know, um, uh, you have the you have the power to make it um, to make it as as grand or as minuscule as, as you want it to be right it's it's your it's your attitude how you let it affect you how you perceive it um i mean it's just like you know uh like like in like in tennis you know so much of it is that is that inner game you know it's it's um it's how you deal with it uh on the inside and i think it's you know especially right now i i i i, I tell my children that you know it's like um 
you know, it's almost like like the like a butterfly having that opportunity to crawl back into its cocoon, you know, and um, and make improvements to itself, you know, and and, get, and gets to come back out. And and I think uh, in a lot of ways, you know, that's that's what that's this is a um, if you look at this uh, this outbreak, you know, this um, it's kind of a if you want to put it under a positive light, you know, um, I was telling my kids that, that in some ways it's like, um, it's like, uh, we have this amazing opportunity right now to study how a virus like this, you know, spreads throughout the world. Right. And, um, and even though people are sometimes saying like, Oh, it's just like the flu or they're not really taking it seriously. I think, you know, we really should take it seriously because this is a, uh, a great way to to really fine tune uh, a system, you know, in case 10 years from now, you know, something 10 times more deadly breaks out, you know, and then, um, and I think having go, going, you know, going through something like this, you know, uh, our, our world will know exactly what to do, you know, what what works, what needs to be done, what what to prepare for. Um, so I, I think it's, it's a it's a great study. And if everyone does what they're supposed to do, then we can get a good read on how effective, you know, some of uh, some of these um, some of these things are and, and, and are going to be, you know, uh, in, in the future. Um, because you know, we'll, we'll never get a we'll never get a be able to to um, to you know test these uh, these get get a scenario like this again, you know. Um, and uh, and the next time it, it happens, you know, it, like I said, it may be something way more devastating. You know? So I mean, I, I think I think uh, we should really um, take this seriously, take it to heart, you know, because because even because I mean, by doing so, you're you're just it's just it's just better for it for everyone, you know. It's even better for the scientists to study these things, and you know, and our government to to understand how to handle these situations better. Um, but I also tell my kids that, you know, this is, this is a, a great time, you know, to, to work on your, your, your inner game, you know, yeah. to, to, you have, you have the time now. I, I see all these posts of people, you know, writing things like, writing things like, uh, you know, I, I always used to say my house is so dirty cause I don't have the time to clean it. Right. You know, <laughs> but now all the time, but my house is still dirty. Right. So it's like, it's kind of like, you know, they're, they're, we, we've always used time as an excuse or we've always used, you know, we're, we're too busy to do, do, do this or too busy to do that. You know, well, this is, you know, for, for, um, for a lot of people who are, who are forced to be at home and not, not leave, leave their house. And they have all this time now, right? This is, uh, I think this is, uh, the, the time to kind of put your money where your mouth is, right? And <laughs> really work on those things, you know, to, to, to to um, to do all the things that you said you were going to do, but never had time to do it. You know, um, words and actions matter, right, Jake? Yeah, you know, work work on your inner game, right? Yeah. Your inner game. <laughs> yeah, and and, and uh, I know about your inner game because you know it just seemed like yesterday I had a bunch of tennis sessions with you, and I know how hard you work, and it just seems like yesterday that we would have my wine tasting social gatherings with you in the in my living room and. <laughs> Jake, you know, I, I, I really appreciate you and your time, you know, sharing your insights and talking with you today and really uh, wish you the best in the, in the future. And hopefully uh, things can get kind of back to normal sooner rather than later. Right. Yeah, no, I think I think this is um, this is really. Um, you know, it's it's gosh, I, I just it's something that none of us have have ever experienced, you know, yeah. uh, in, in lifetime and uh and it's just um and you know it, it's there there's going to be all kinds of uh repercussions there's going to be all kinds of of things that are going to be affected you know by by this um that that maybe we can't really foresee at the moment but um well we'll get through I, it yeah i think if we all just really uh stay positive and and we um we 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 stay positive and we um we band together i think uh you know i think it's gonna be um 
I think we're all going to come out of this all right, and hopefully uh, even as, as better and stronger people. Totally agree. Hey, Jake, thanks for joining me on the show, and uh, look forward to talking to you soon, okay? Thanks, Rusty. I really appreciate it, and and, uh, and thanks for having me on. Sorry I was a little, a little distracted over here, but, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... I'm sure everyone understands. So anyways, but you take care. Great to see you. And uh, thanks for all the, all the wonderful work you're doing. And, um, and congratulations on the new book. Can't wait to, uh, to see it when it comes out. Thanks, Jake. And thank you for watching Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. And a special thank you to my clothing sponsor, Iolani Incorporated. For more information, please visit RustyKomori.com. And my books are available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. I hope that Jake and I will inspire you to create your own superior culture of excellence and to find your greatness and help others find theirs. Aloha.